integrate the sine cubed of x solution. So whenever we have powers of sine and cosine, we always want to save a copy of the one that's being raised to an odd power, if, if that's an option. In this case, we have sine cubed, so we can save a copy of sine. And so by save a copy, I basically mean we can factor out a sine from sine cubed and write it like this. So sine squared x times sine. So for powers of sine and cosine, if at all possible, save a copy of the one that's being raised to an odd power. So we did that. And so since we've saved a copy of sine, u has to be the other one. So u is equal to cosine. So again, this is all from memory. Again, if you have odd powers of sine and cosine, save a copy of the odd one, and then u is the other one. So we saved a copy of sine, and then u is cosine. So now we look here and we say, hey, this is not a cosine, right? So we make it a cosine by using an identity. So sine squared is always one minus the other one squared. So one minus cosine squared. Then here we have sine x dx. So now we're good. Now we can make our substitution. So u is equal to cosine. So then du, well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this will be negative sine x dx. And we don't have a negative sign in our integral, so we can divide both sides by negative 1 to make it match. So this becomes negative du equals sine x dx. So now we can replace sine x dx with negative du. So this will be negative integral 1 minus and then cosine was u, so u squared. And then we have our du. Yep, because this is negative du, so everything looks good. And we get 1 minus u squared. Let's go ahead and distribute that negative 1. It's really bothering me. So when you distribute it, you just get u squared minus 1. You just flip the signs. Okay, just flip the signs. Distribute it to the 1, it becomes a negative 1. Distribute it here, it becomes a positive. When you integrate, you use the power rule, so it'll be u to the 3, and then you divide by the result, so 3, minus, and then integrating 1, we get u, plus c. The very last step is to replace u with what it is, so u is cosine. This will be 1 third cosine cubed of x minus cosine of x plus capital C, and that would be the final answer. This is a really nice problem because it's not super tough, but uh, if you know the trick, uh, it's all about the trick. So whenever you have an odd power of sine or cosine, just save a copy of the odd one, and then u is the other one. And then from there, you can work through it. And once you do this, once you get to this step here, this is where you have to think a little bit more. You say, okay, well, I have a sine squared here, so I need to write that in terms of cosine. Okay, and then now we're in the position where we can make the u sub and go from there. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.